In this video, we'll be hunting a box of nickels. We'll be looking for any nickels older than 1960, including Silver War nickels, buffaloes, or anything older. We'll also be looking for any proofs, foreigns, heirs of varieties, or any other cool things we can find. Don't see any enders in this box, so hopefully we can get some good finds in the rolls. So let's start the hunt, and I'll bring you in when we have our first find. Roll number two, and we have our first find of the box. It is a 1955 out of Denver. Next roll, and we have a couple more finds. We have another one from the 50s, and it is a 1952 from San Francisco. And then we have the first 2009 out of the box, and it's from Denver. Roll six, and we have another find from the 50s. And this one is a 1956 from Denver. Roll nine, and we have our first find from the 40s. And it is a 1949 minted in Philly. Roll number 10, and we have the first foreign of the box. And it's going to be a Canadian nickel. And it is a 1984. Roll 12, and we have our first 30s nickel of the hunt. And like usual, it's a 1939 out of Philly, common year. And it's not the DDR, but still, any 30s nickel is a great find. Roll 17, and I just got something I don't find too often. It's a 1938 first year Jefferson. It's not in too great a shape. And it's out of Philly, which means it's not a key date or anything, but still, a 1938 nickel. Don't seem too many of those. That's a great find. Roll 21, and we have another 40s nickel. And this one is 1940, minted in Denver. Roll 23, and... Just uncovered this 1955, but behind it, that might be my first ever clip planchet found coin or hunting. The 55 is minted in Denver. Clip planchet, possibly. And it is a clip planchet. It's a 1960. Basically, how you can tell on these is see a clip on one side, and then on the opposite side, it should have a bit of weakness, and you can see it right there on the rim. There's a bit of a weakness in the strike right there, directly across from it. I forget what the name for that effect is called, but it's a little circulated, 1960 Philly. That is definitely my first ever clip planchet found coin or hunting. That's an awesome find. Same roll as that clip planchet, and we have another find from the 50s, and this one is a 1953 from Denver. Next roll, and we have a few more finds, a couple from the later 50s, a 1958 out of Denver that's pretty beat up, and then a 1959 that's also out of Denver, and then we have the second 2009 of the box. Roll 25, halfway point of the box, and the finds are going to continue because we have another 40s nickel, and this one is a 1947 Denver. Roll 27, and we have another pretty cool find. It's a 1946 nickel, and it has some counter stamps on it. Right there, we have a lowercase e, a couple of L's or 1's or I's or something, and then on the reverse has a five and then a couple more of those L's, I's, or ones, and it's out of Philly. 1946 nickel with some pretty cool counter stamps on it. That's a cool, unique find. Next roll, and we have another nickel from 1946, but it doesn't have any counter stamps, and it's also out of Philly. Roll 29, and we have another 1958 out of Denver. Next roll, and we have another nickel from the 50s, and this one is a 1952 Denver. Roll 31. This time we have a find from the 40s. And it is a 1949 from Philly. Next roll. And we have a couple more older Jeffersons. First we have another 1946 out of Philly. And then we have another 1958 Denver. Roll 33. A couple more older Jeffersons. First we have a 1940 from Denver, and then a 1956 from Philly. Roll 42, it's been a little bit since we've had our last find, but we do have another one from the 40s, and this one is a 1946 minted in Denver. Just opened roll 46. There's some junk in the roll, but I think right there, next to the junk, that might be a war nickel. Haven't looked yet. And it is 1944. Out of Denver, 
35% silver, war nickel found. Didn't even have to look. Stop by the edge. That's an awesome find. Nickel box has been hunted, so let's go over the finds. We ended up with 17 estimates, two 2009s, one foreign, it's a Canadian from 1984, and another miscellaneous find was that 1946 nickel with the cool counter stamps in, on it, most notably that E, and then a couple of these L's or I's or 1's or something, and then the back has a 5, and then a couple more of those straight line ones. And then older Jeffersons did pretty good on decent amount of 40s and 50s no better dates besides that first year 1938 out of philly which is the year i don't see too often then the two finds of the box we got my first ever clipped planchet on a 1960 philly not too big of a clip but still clip planchet's a cool find never found one in any denomination before and then of course we got that 1944 denver 35 percent silver warnicle near the end of the box and overall, this was a great nickel box.